Hi travelers, welcome to our next destination in Ireland. We are at Connemara National Park and you've probably seen a picture of this abbey. This is Kylemore Abbey. Now this is a place that I really wanted to get to on our last trip to Ireland and we just couldn't make it due to timing. So I'm really, really excited to be here. It's beautiful, absolutely picturesque. We're gonna go ahead and tour it walk around a little bit and see what Connemara has to offer, but I'm so excited to be here. Guys, the sun just came out and it's so beautiful. Wow. After getting our tickets, we decided to start our adventure at the Kylemore Castle. This castle was built in the 1800s by Mitchell Henry and his wife Margaret. After years and many series of events, in 1920, the Irish Benedictine nuns bought the castle and grounds and made it into the abbey that it is today. The house today serves as a museum so visitors can learn more about the history of the Henry family and how it eventually became a Benedictine Abbey. your wish will come through. Come true. I don't think one of those made it. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Go. That didn't make it. It hit me. So what happens when your stone comes back to hit you? I didn't make a wish. <laughs> You gotta make a wish. <laughs> wish made. How long is that wish? Love, prosperity. No, you can't say it. Oh, it doesn't come true. Yeah. the nuns make chocolate here and it's for sale so I'm definitely gonna try some later all right guys right now we are just walking around the grounds of Kylemore headed to the Victorian walled garden I've heard it's absolutely stunning and apparently they do pig feedings at 12 so I'm hoping that we catch that um, but I'm really excited to see it The Victorian gardens were so cool to explore. Back in the day, these gardens were considered to be very advanced for the time, as it had 21 heated glass houses and 40 gardeners looking after the garden back in the 1800s. Today, you can stroll through the gardens, learn about the history, and take in all the magnificent beauty. Thank you. 
All right, so these are the remnants of all the old greenhouses. These were heated so they could keep plants and vegetables and all the things alive. This one right here was a tomato garden. Super unique and cool. All right, travelers, we are done with Kylemore Abbey. It is absolutely stunning. The grounds are gorgeous, the gardens are gorgeous, but one takeaway and one tip that I would like to give you all is to get here early. When I tell you there are hordes of people here now and it is 12 o'clock, I am not kidding. Um, we accidentally got here a little bit earlier than we expected it to open because we had read online that it opened at nine and it actually opened at 10 and we got here at 9.30. Um, we were one of the first ones in line, and I'm telling you, that is the way to go. Uh, we basically got the whole, like, Kyle Moore house to ourselves, um, which was so, so nice. And now there's so many people here that it's a little crazy. Um, so that's my one tip. Get there's here like early. tour buses right there. Too. Yeah. 30? I mean, oh I my gosh, them, yeah. yeah, there's literally so many tour buses, so number one tip, get here early so you can enjoy it and just like really take it all in, but it is absolutely stunning. There's a reason why this place is so popular and I highly suggest coming. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and stay tuned for where we're heading in Ireland next. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye and happy travels. Look at all of these people just busting in. This parking lot was completely empty when we got here. There were one of three cars. And look at all those. I don't know if you guys can tell, but those are all tour buses right there. Lots of people. Lots of craziness.